our research lab um, focuses on two interrelated tracks. The first one is to develop a novel machine learning methodology and frameworks that address um, the inherent challenges of working with real world data, like medical imaging, electronic health records, uh, clinical notes. And then the second track uh, focuses on identifying um, clinically meaningful uh, problems that uh, clinicians actually care about and think that AI could be beneficial for. So we focus on um, uh, different uh, medical areas like um, oncology, brain health, um, and women's health. So I believe that uh, we're at a time uh, where um, upskilling in AI for healthcare professionals is uh, crucial and unavoidable uh, because many of those AI technologies are um, bound to be used in the clinic um, sooner than we think. So I think um, uh, executive level education and training is uh, really important and has to be customized as well to the objectives of um, the learner in terms of how they plan to use and adopt AI in the clinic. So I'm fully supportive of this approach and I hope that uh, many clinicians um, uh, are interested in pursuing such programs. I think one of the main challenges that we face is that we're still working in silos. So uh, the clinicians may have their own ideas about what's fit for AI. And then we have also our own ideas of what we can actually solve with AI, but then they never really get to meet much or interact, um, which is why we always seek to collaborate with the expert clinicians in order to make sure that the work that we do is actually clinically meaningful. I know some medical schools are already doing that, but I, I think it's time for medical schools to also revisit their uh, education um, system and their curricula and look into ways on how um, AI-related knowledge can be incorporated and democratized. Uh, because again, eventually the clinician is the end user and so is the radiologist and the pharmacist and all healthcare professionals. So they ne really need to be up to date um, and very aware as well of um, not just the um, technical elements, but also the societal challenges that come in with working with AI, such as model bias um, or potential discrimination against uh, certain subgroups of patients.